Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to import data from a spreadsheet into pipe drive. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to import a list of contacts and organizations. This is great if you're new to pipe drive and you simply want to bring in all of your existing contacts or clients so that you can manage those relationships from inside the CRM. Secondly, I'm going to show you how you can import a list of leads to your lead inbox or deals to your deals pipeline if you'd like to start prospecting or selling to these people. And thirdly, I'm going to show you how you can update existing contacts with fresh data from a spreadsheet. If you have any questions at the end of this video, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up or optimizing your Pipedrive account, automating your sales process, or maybe just getting more out of this CRM, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. So here I have in Excel a list of contact information for the people I want to import to Pipedrive. Now, just to clarify, what I'm actually going to be doing here is I'm going to be creating two things in Pipedrive. I'm going to be creating a person and an organization. So here, for example, um, here's a deal that I've created and I have this contact Johnny Ive and I can see all the information for Johnny here, his phone number, email and so on. And we can see that Johnny is linked with the Apple organization and we can see all the information for Apple. And if I go onto Apple here, I can see that Apple, uh, we've got a number of contacts actually linked with that organization. So just the first thing to wrap your head around is we're actually creating two separate objects in Pipedrive we're creating a person using this information, their name, email, phone, label, and birthday. And then I'm gonna create an organization and I'm gonna insert their uh, website and the number of employees. Now, some tips on how to set up the spreadsheet. Firstly, I just like to group everything together. So here's all the information related to the contact person. I've separated first and last name into two individual columns. I've got their email address phone number, and you can import multiple addresses. So theoretically, if I did have um, multiple addresses, I, I would put them in, in two columns like this. Same thing with the phone number. I can import multiple phone numbers, but just for this example, I'm going to keep it really simple. Uh, by the way, this is not real information here. I just used chat GPT to create a random list of uh, names and emails, and that was pretty handy. I'm also going to import a label to these contacts. So in Pipedrive, we have, if I go back to Johnny Ive, we have labels up here. And this is often used as the primary identifier of like, what type of contact is this? And we can use these labels to filter and find contacts later on. So I've got this label called trade show list because I've got these contacts from a trade show. I want to kind of group them together so I can easily find them later on and I've got their birthdays. And then here I've got information related to the organization, so the company name, website, and number of employees. Now, you may need to create some additional custom fields to contain this information. For example, number of employees, this is not a field that comes standard in Pipedrive, but I've created a, a field on the organization here, number of employees, you can see. I've got a video that I'll link up here, which guides you through how to create custom fields. So definitely go check that out. If you want to bring in any custom information like I've got here, number of employees, annual revenue, um, even things like on the contact birthday is, is a, not a default field. I've created that in my account. So I've got my um, contacts and organizations ready to go, and I've saved this file to my computer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the menu here and go to import data. If you're not seeing this import data option, there could be a couple of things at play. Firstly, you may not have permission. So you need to check with your account admin whether you have permission to import data. Um, the other thing is you can also customize your um, interface. This is actually a new feature at the time of recording. So you can see in my account, I've got the import data option under this kind of more menu. Um, so a couple of things to check there if you're not seeing that import data option. But yeah, you can go to tools and apps. You should see import data here if you have permission. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I'm going to import from a spreadsheet. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my file. 
So I've got this my file ready to go. This is my sample import. And by the way, if you do want to download some sample templates, um, there are some example files here that you can have a look at as well. Download those. It's quite a useful way of seeing how information should be organized in Pipedrive. But I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and upload my spreadsheet. Now, what we're looking at here is on the left, these are the columns in my spreadsheet. So we can see the, the, the headings there. We can see those on the left. And you can even see some of the sample data. You can see the very first row, John Smith. We can see that here. We can see the John Smith sample data uh, on the left. And then on the right, this is where we are going to map the fields in Pipedrive to the columns in my spreadsheet. And you can see Pipedrive has already done a pretty good job of mapping some of these fields. Now, when you do this mapping, it's really important to pay attention to these little symbols here. And you can see them along the top here as well. These represent what object you are, what object and what field you're mapping to. So here I'm mapping to the person's first name and last name and email. So here on the right, you can see all the fields related to people that we can map. Um, and so, yeah, a couple of those have already been done for me. Now here, phone number, you can see it's mapping to this little building icon. These are actually organization fields. Now, I actually don't want to map this phone number to the phone for the organization. I want to map it to the phone number for the person. So I'm going to click the X there to remove that, that mapping. And now if I search here for phone number, you can see I have two fields called phone number, but I want to link this one here under the person. So I'm going to drag that onto my phone number uh, column. Next, you can see label. There's a little warning here for label. Um, it has mapped it to the person label. Just be careful. There are labels for organizations and deals. So make sure you are mapping to the correct object. So in this case, for me, the person. Now, if I click on this um, cell, you can see here that I don't actually have a label at the moment for trade show list. So I can just quickly create one here. Let's just make it yellow. And I'm gonna give that a name. So we're gonna create the new label. There it is down the bottom. And I'm gonna drag the value from the left here down to here. If you have multiple labels, you can map um, the different options or different values that the Excel spreadsheet contains and you can map those to the different labels here in Pipedrive. So I'm just simply mapping the trade show list to the trade show list label. And so now that yellow warning has disappeared. I also have a warning on this birthday field. So uh, let's click there. Pipedrive is asking me, because this is a date field, it's asking me what format have I have I specified the date? Now, uh, being in New Zealand, we use the day, month, year format, so I'm gonna specify this option here and click save. So those are my contact fields and you can see I'm mapping to all the little people icons there. Now we've mapped the organization name, that's correct, but I also need to map the website so I can drag this website field in here and the number of employees, we can map that here. And as I mentioned before, if you do have multiple um, either phone numbers or here we go, if you have multiple phone numbers or email addresses for a contact, you can map the phone and email fields twice, which is nice. So you can import both bits of data. Now, I should also, also point out that in my spreadsheet, everything on one row is going to link together. So because I have John Smith here linked and on the same row as this organization, when it creates this contact and this organization, the two will be linked together, which you will see shortly. I'll also quickly point out that if you are mapping multiple contacts or importing multiple contacts to the same organization, like you can see here, I've got John Smith linked to ABC Widgets Inc. and also Jane Doe to ABC Widgets Inc. If I simply duplicate this organization data twice, Pipedrive will create one organization and both contacts, J uh, John Smith and Jane Doe, will both link to that same company. So now that my mapping is done, I'm gonna click next. And on this page, I can choose how I want duplicates to be managed. So if Pipedrive does find a duplicate, um, I can choose to merge those records. So if we find John Smith already in the system, I can use the existing record. Or if I just want to import the spreadsheet and the data exactly how it is shown here, which may result in duplicates, I can choose to create multiple records. Most of the time we use this merge data option. 
So I'm gonna start that import now. That just That's just gonna run in the background. I can leave, I can go and make a coffee, I can come back and, and just let that run. Down here, you can see the recent ex export uh, imports that you've done, and you can see a bit of a summary of what happened. So it's added 20 new records. Um, it's 20 because there are 10 people, which are these ones here, and 10 organizations, which is 20 records. So I can see a bit of a summary down there. If existing contacts were updated, we would see that here, or if they were merged, we would see that as well. So now let's go and find those people. Let's see how it looks in Pipedrive. Uh, let's go to my contacts, uh, uh, contacts here. Now I'll just do a quick filter. So I'll create a filter here and I'm gonna search for anyone where the label is trade show. And so here are all the people I just imported and we can see the, the company that they're linked to as well. So if I click on Amanda Turner here, I can see Amanda's information and Amanda is linked with the quantum systems company and I can see that information down there. Now, if I make a mistake with my import, I have the option to revert the import and basically take my pipe drive account back to the state it was in before I did the import. Now this option is only available within 48 hours after you do the import. After that 48 hour window, the import becomes permanent. So it's quite nice because if you do make a mistake, you can revert and try again. So that is the process of creating contacts and organizations in your Pipedrive account, which is something you'll want to do if you're new to Pipedrive and you want to bring in your existing contact or client base. Now, you may also want to create either a lead or a deal in your Pipedrive account if you want to start selling to these people. So if I come to my lead inbox here, this is where I can create a list of leads or kind of people I want to start prospecting to. For my trade show list, this would be a good idea because if I don't have an existing relationship with these people, if I don't really know yet if they're a good fit for our product or service, I would generally start them off in my lead inbox and then I can convert this lead into a deal and I can move that over to my deal pipeline once I've qualified the lead and I've ident identified that there's a good sales opportunity here. I could, also in I could also choose instead to just create a deal. I would do this maybe if I have an existing relationship with the client, maybe I've got a list of upcoming renewals of accounts that we need to uh, renew for the year or something like that. I'd probably just skip straight to creating a deal rather than a lead. So you'll have to decide, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want them to go into your lead inbox or do we want to import uh, deals to our deal pipeline? Now, either way, if we're going to import deals or leads, we need to make some adjustments to our spreadsheet. If you're creating a lead, the only thing you actually need to provide is a column for the lead title. Now, you can make this lead title whatever you want. I usually just use a combination of the person's name and um, the organization name. So I'm gonna be uh, clever here and I'm gonna use a formula. So I'm gonna say equals, whoops, the person's first name, ampersand, and then I'm gonna do a little quotation mark and I'm gonna put in a space and then another ampersand and then I'm gonna choose the last name. Then I'm gonna do another ampersand, a quote, space, open bracket, end quote, ampersand. Then I'm gonna choose the company name ampersand, quote, close bracket, end quote. And you can see using that formula there, I have now, um, I can create uh, a, a lead title using a combination of the person's name and then the organization name in brackets. So that there's a useful formula. You can use those quotes to kind of create text. So a little, little tip for you there. Now, I can't actually import a formula to Pipedrive, so I would need to copy that column and then paste uh, just the values. So I'm going to get rid of the formula and just be left with the, the plain text there. So that's how I can import a list of leads. I just need one extra column for the lead title. I can also map columns in my spreadsheet to custom fields on the deal. So in this lead, uh, my leads and deals, I've got a field called deal type. Now, if I want to import a value to that field, I can also bring in uh, or have a column for deal type. And let's just say, whoops, consulting and I can drag that down there. So I'm gonna create a lead with this title. I'm gonna fill in the custom field and that lead is gonna be mapped to the person and the organization. So those are the additional columns I would provide to create a lead with a specific custom field. Now, if I want to create a deal, I would also uh, probably want to provide the stage 
that the deal is going to go into. Especially if I have multiple pipelines, different stages, I want to specify what stage it's going into. So uh, firstly, I'll just change this to deal title. I've got my deal type. And now I'll have a, uh, a column for deal stage. And I'm going to put them in the qualified lead stage. There we go. And I can also provide additional information about the deal. If I want to bring in, uh, for example, a historical deal that's already won, I could have a column for the deal status. And I could say one, if I want to just mark that deal as one straight away, uh, I, can, I can bring that in as so. I can also bring in deal value. If again, I'm bringing in historical sales data, I could bring in the value of the deal as a column there. So I can bring in quite a lot of information if I need to. Let's just keep it simple. Let's go with that for now. So we're going to bring in the deal title, type, and stage. I can also add some additional columns, as I've done here, to create an activity on the deal. So if I want to create that deal and assign an activity to somebody on my team, like Lindsay here, I've brought in the activity type, a subject for the activity, when the activity should be due, the, the user, and let's do some notes on the deal as well. And as I mentioned before, because everything here is on one row, everything will be linked. So now I'm ready to import that spreadsheet. And uh, similar to before, I'm just gonna map the initial columns at the top, but this time we're gonna use deal fields. Firstly, we need to map the deal title. Again, be careful that you map the correct title, the title for the deal, not the lead or the person's job title. Um, so we're gonna bring in this one here with the little dollar icon. We need to bring in the type. So I've got this custom field called deal type. Now again, I'm using the deal deal type, not the lead deal type. And because this is a single option dropdown, you can see that the values in my Excel sheet uh, have automatically now mapped to consulting, but I can do the manual mapping if I need to. And we need to map the deal stage. So let's bring that in here. And uh, because I have a few different pipelines and uh, I actually have multiple pipelines with the qualified lead stage. So I'm going to manually map qualified lead to qualified lead here on my sales pipeline. So I've mapped those deal fields. I've got my person fields map, just like I showed you before, and the organization fields. And now we can map the activity fields. So you can see activity type has mapped, mapped to the activity type field. That's good. And email has mapped to email. Uh, activity subject has mapped, which is good. Due date, we just need to clarify the date format, which I'll do there. And the user, it didn't, it didn't assign this correctly. So let's go to uh, our, our activity fields and assign to user. There we go. <clears throat> let's bring that in. And you can see it's mapped Lindsay to Lindsay, one of the users in my account. And finally, the note, we can bring in notes here. Uh, this is going to attach to the deal. So I've got all of that ready to go. Let's go ahead and click import. And because I'm, I'm choosing the merge data, and because these contacts already exist in my account, I'm not going to create duplicate data um, because I'm providing that name, the email, the phone. Pipedrive will merge the data, and it will just simply create the new uh, deal. So if you look down here, it added 30 new objects, and it merged 20 because we've got some existing contacts. So if I search for one of these as an example, <clears throat> here's the John Smith example. So it's been put into my qualified lead stage on my pipeline. You can see the deal type has been set. I've got John Smith's information here and it's used the existing record as before. I've got John's organization data and on the deal I've got the activity has been created and a note on the deal as well. And if I just show you on my main pipeline, I can see all of my deals there on my pipeline ready to go. Now, the final thing I want to show you is how you can update existing contacts, organizations, or deals with new information that you've got in a spreadsheet and you want to add that to those existing contacts in Pipedrive. This is getting a little bit more advanced, so stick with me because it's actually a really useful trick to have up your sleeve. Now, as I showed you before, if you are doing an import and you provide the person's name and email and phone, Pipedrive can use that data to merge the existing records. But sometimes the data in your spreadsheet doesn't quite match up. You might have a new email address that doesn't match what's in Pipedrive. So it's not always the most reliable way to, to merge people. So what we can do is we can um, export the data that's in Pipedrive and use the ID of the person to update the existing record instead. 
To do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export the contacts that I'm trying to update. This could be, um, I could either use a filter or I could just go to everyone here and export every single contact from my account. I'm going to click the gear icon here and I'm going to customize my columns and bring in the person ID. This is just the pipe drive system ID for each contact. And now I'm just going to export this, um, this page down into Excel so I can then map um, to my other, the data that I want to update. So here's the data that I just exported. You can see my, my ID column is included there. Now I'm just gonna move this over to the spreadsheet that I'm working in. So we're gonna put, the, put it at the end there, there we go. And what we need to do now is I want to, I want to add this job title column to the existing record, but I need to map these people to the ID of the existing record in Pipedrive. And to find them, I'm gonna try and use the email address. Like I said, it might not be completely reliable, but it's probably what I would try first. Now, I'm gonna put a new column in here, and I'm gonna give this the title person ID. We're gonna use a VLOOKUP. Now, for VLOOKUP to work, the value that I'm looking up, the, uh, the email, needs to be on the very left-hand side of my range. So, with the person email on the left and then the ID next to it on the right, I'm gonna use a formula and we're gonna go equals VLOOKUP open bracket. Now the lookup value is what is the, the value I want to find, which in this case is the person's email. Then I'm gonna do a comma. Now I need to specify the range that I'm looking up and the left column is gonna be, Excel is gonna try and find that email in this column and then I'm gonna do a comma, and I want to return column number two, which is this one here. And then we're gonna do a comma, and then match false. And you can see there for John Smith, it's found number 144, which we can see is the correct one. So I'm just gonna drag that formula down, and it's, it's now found the IDs of all these people by looking up that address. Now, I need to get rid of the formulas, so I'm gonna copy and then paste just the values, so I'm left with the numbers alone, and I've, I've stripped out that formula. Now, because I'm updating existing records, I actually don't need their name, email, or any of this other information, so I'm just gonna delete that to tidy up my spreadsheet. I'm simply gonna provide the ID of the contact and the new information that I'm uploading or, or, up, or uh, either adding to the contact or updating within the contact. I can now upload this spreadsheet to Pipedrive and I'm gonna map the Pipedrive system ID. Now you can see all sorts of objects use the ID. We've got deal IDs, lead IDs, organization IDs. We're of course updating a person, so we're gonna map the person system ID to that first column there. And we also want to map the title. And I'm gonna make sure I map the person title. This is a custom field for job title that I've created. Uh, I'm gonna click next, and I'm gonna start my import. Once that's done, if I go to one of my existing contacts here, you can see the title has been added to this contact and we've updated the existing record. And if you actually look at the, um, in the URL at the top here, number 144, we can check that I've updated the correct object, in this case, John Smith. So there we go, that is the process of importing data to Pipedrive, how you can use spreadsheets to create new leads or deals, and how you can update your existing data all through that import tool. We covered quite a lot there. If you have any questions or if there's anything that didn't quite make sense, feel free to post me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.